Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. One of the fans, one of you viewers, emailed me and said, I have a candidate for worse racket. Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour. And my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. So one of our viewers sent me a box and said, I think I have a candidate for worse racket. I was like, when I was reading through the email, I was like, yeah, send it over. Let's see what you got. So here it is. Oh, it's not strung. Okay. Interesting. It looks to be a Dunlop racket. It's not gripped. So it is a Quadra 110 made by Dunlop and it says response groove technology. It looks brand new. <laughs> it looks brand new. Uh, the grip was taken off. It has ISIS technology in it. Wow. Remember ISIS? That was a while ago. 30 years whiles ago. Uh, let's see what he's, let's see what I got here. Happy New Year. Here is a contender for one of the most disappointing tennis rackets ever, the Dunlop Quattro 110. It should be noted that this racket was manufactured by the old Dunlop before Shrikshan's acquisition of the brand. The current Dunlop company designs and builds much better rackets than this. What makes the Quattro 110 such a disappointing tennis racket? Its overall lack of response, despite design elements that should add power. This is a very lightweight racket with an extended length, 27 and a half. An oversized head, 110 square inches, 16 by 19 pattern. It should have good power, but doesn't deliver. The grip feels a size small. The butt cap is also small too. The paint chips, the paint chips easily and it feels cheap. It's also too lightweight and balance doesn't, does not enhance the racket head speed. The best part of the racket is its great full length case and cover, which I kept. Okay. The design features response groove technology where the inside of the hoop is concave to enlarge the sweet spot at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 10 o'clock positions. The current Wilson Ultra has a similar design at 3 and 9 o'clock. It has a triangular beam in the throat and a distinctive straight bottom yoke to increase stiffness. This is just an overall lack of, there is just an overall lack of power and substance. The racket is a dud, suitable only for beginning players, despite its tech design features. I have included a replacement grip and basic strings for your install for your play tests. Give it a try and see what you think. Happy New Year to Coach Andrew, Chris, Jarrett, and Rob too. Cheers, Ted. Okay, Ted. Wow, look at this. So not only did he include the racket, he included a set of 410 Suite, which is actually a really, really good multi, and a Turnagrip replacement original. Well, let me check out, yeah, this, this yoke part, four and five eighths. Wow, four and five eighths. 
<laughs> okay, it should be good. Premium carbon construction, response groove technology. Let me check what's 110, recommended string tension 55 to 65. Um, 16 by 19 on the string pattern. And that's all it says. So, yeah, what? Hmm. So, what Ted's talking about here is uh, you see how this butt cap really isn't very like, large versus the grip itself. So, it, it's not as pronounced, it's more subtle. I'm guessing you would like a more pronounced and larger butt cap. Interesting. It looks like there's still part of the old grip left too. I'm gonna see if I can clean this up. So let's go put a grip on, the grip on, and the Sweet 16 at, uh, I mean, given the concave thing, let's just do 50. Let's do 58. We'll try to give it a little bit of power. Uh, maybe 55. I'll make it. I'll make it a game time decision on that one. But um, let's go. Stay tuned. All right, so uh, here, huh? Here, take that back, <laughs> Mr. Rogers. What's going on? <laughs> I, I, I like the grip. <laughs> Felt good in my hand. The grip. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of it. Well, as I usually, as we when we usually try something, I'm usually aiming at the service line, just right off the get. Can I mm -hmm. get the ball to land there? Mm -hmm. It was and landing. It way was short. barely over the net. Yeah. So I wasn't sure, I was expecting with the 110 to have a little extra power, it was gonna be landing long, mm -hmm. if anything, not short. So whether it means I need some uh, Wheaties or spinach or something in my, Come on, I, need, I need to get a little stronger. Um, but it, I would definitely not say it's the worst racket I've ever used, but it's it didn't feel great. Um, I did hit a couple sweet spots and it jumped and I, heard I was like, it. okay, yeah, yeah. it went, as it should have, but um, yeah, I'm happy to hand it back. <laughs> All right, Ted, I, uh, this, I understand where you're at though, I understand. This is a very confused racket. It's right. not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, it's a 110, which you think power. And it says response groove technology. Yeah. Which is these which, things right here. Right. Which the indentation. I'm not sure that did a lot See, for that's, me. In my mind, when you do this to a racket, when you groove the insides, you want flex. That's okay. in my mind. That's, that's what why it you're is. doing it. I'm not a freaking engineer, but from what the rackets that I've seen that does this in certain areas of the racket, it causes more flex because you're not, it's not like a solid piece. You know, you're, right. you're cutting things out. So there's less material. Okay. I mean, like I said, I'm not structural in the near. I don't claim to be one, but I'm just saying like, this is what I feel. So I expect it to be, have a little more power, which it didn't. I expected it to, I kind of gave up and said, well, give me some control. And so when I swung a little bit harder, it shot off the racket and, you know, went away. So I'm like, it could be me, but in this case, I'm, bring, I'm blaming the racket because if I hit hard, I expect it to either go through the court and be, you know, have some speed and power, right? And if, but if I hit hard and it just keeps going, it's the racket. <laughs> 
And if, if I want some control and I hit soft and it falls way short, but it's a 110. Right. <laughs> I was expecting a little, yeah, it didn't, my first instincts, it didn't match what I was expecting it to do. Mm -hmm. but, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a confused racket. It's not quite sure uh, who it is. Right. It's got an identity crisis. That or maybe I do, but <laughs> I, one or the other. <laughs> maybe we all have identity crisis. Could be. But yes, it did. I mean, I did my first like six shots. No, I made the I'm service like, line. Like two bounces. Harry's like to two me. bounces. Two bounces. What are we doing, Rob? Is this a new drill or two what? Two bounces to like, me. But I got hit it. the like, damn ball to but me. But I get it. Like what I was like, I was like, okay. So when I was hitting back to you with it, I'm like, okay. So he dropped two to me. I might have to swing a little harder. So, right. And I, and then as I actually got grooved in okay with the with the thing, but I felt like my full stroke would out for sure my calm stroke oh nice calm, a calm yeah, stroke the, the I like zen that. stroke the my mr nice. rogers yeah, nice stroke but not looking at the bird stroke right was falling short so i call it my rob stroke my coach okay. rob stroke was falling short <laughs> so i had to find some kind of median there right. that wasn't quite let rip and it wasn't quite chill it out um, it may not have been designed for us no no it may have been designed for uh, someone with a shorter backswing and a shorter follow through. Somebody who needs a racket right now, need it pre-strung and don't care what it is. That could be. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> okay. So Ted, thank you for sharing this racket. Much we appreciate it. Agree with you. Worst racket ever candidate. Uh, so we have like four of them now, aren't we? We're adding to the list. So if you see this Quattro 110 and a in a Dunlop store, if it's no more than three bucks, don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Go drop. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And make sure the grip's not falling off because you're going to be spending money on that and make sure there's strings because unless it's like pristine, don't buy it. All right. Coach drop again. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.